OpenAI has just introduced GPT Realtime and the Realtime API updates for voice agents. It is production grade in that you can just plug it into say your SIP phone or for calling support. It even includes MCP server support. So you can just connect it with any other system that using MCP. So let's look at what's the speciality of the model and what's the novelty that they have introduced. In terms of the real-time API, the API now supports remote MCP server and you can even input images and you can do phone calling through session initiation protocol. This means that the voice agent can just plug into your phone system. How is that useful? Say if you want to read this climber script to the customer and you don't want to lose your voice doing that again and again, then you could just make the model read word for word. The this climber script over the support call and the model will ease your life. They're calling the model GPT real time and the model shows improvement in complex instructions, calling tools with precision and producing speech that sounds more natural and expressive. Talking of speech that is more natural and expressive, they have introduced two more voices, which is Cedar and Martin. And these voices are available exclusively in the API access only. So this is not new. Basically, it was available in public beta since last October and the developer community seems to have built with their API. But what they are releasing now is optimized version that is reliable with low latency and high quality. And how are they achieving that? They are achieving that through a single model and APIs. Basically, if you take speech models, what normally happens is you have speech to text and then you have text to speech and these are in a pipeline. So what they're saying is they've, they've devised a single model in order to reduce the latency and make it super reliable and of high quality. Let's quickly see it in action and then play around with it later on. Are there any homes in my budget that need a water with a view of the skyline and not rain? Sure, let me look. With your viability of 824K, Wallingford would be a great fit. I think you'll love 404 North 33rd Street. It has those skyline and rainier views you're after. With this week's market, I book a tour with an agent soon. Want me to set that up? So in terms of audio quality, they have trained GPT real time to produce high quality speech that sounds more natural and can follow fine grained instructions such as, you know, speak quickly and professionally or speak empathetically. But if it really does that, that will take it close, very close to how humans speak. Let's see how it does. Tell a story to a five year old about a ghost that lived down the street. Be full of emotions in order to scare the child. Definitely tell you a spooky story. Just the right amount of fun and chills for a five year old. Let's dive in. Once upon a time, on a quiet little street just like yours, there was a house. Everyone said it was empty. But at night, if you listened closely, you could hear the faint sound of footsteps softly pattering across the floor. And in that house, there lived a ghost, not a scary ghost but a very curious one. This ghost loved to peek out the windows and watch the kids playing outside. Until one evening, a little boy named Tommy was riding his bike, and the ball he was playing with rolled right up to that house's front door. Tommy tiptoed to get his ball, and the door creaked open all by itself. He rose, and then, floating in front of him, was a soft, glowing light. The ghost smiled and whispered, I've been waiting for a friend. And from that day on, the ghost and Tommy went on all sorts of nighttime adventures. Every now and then, the ghost would play a harmless little trick, making doors creak or lights flicker. Yeah, that was not bad at all. That's very close to how a human would narrate the story. Okay, so let's look at some benchmarks. So GPT real time scores 82.8% accuracy, beating the previous model from December 2024. So if you look at this plot on Big Bench Audio Intelligence, which is the benchmark for models that support audio input, we can see that GPT real time achieves 82.8. That's higher than what it was previously in preview and, and much higher than the model that was released in December 2024. They've also evaluated for instruction following 
which is on the multi-challenge audio benchmark. Now these multi-challenge evaluations are for evaluating multi-turn conversations like we do with the humans. So it focuses on categories like, you know, realistic challenges. And so this challenge requires the models to combine instruction following, context management, and in-context reasoning simultaneously. And in this benchmark, they're saying that the real time is achieving 30.5%, whereas the predecessor was only at 20.6%. As we can see, we have a long way to go when it comes to real time processing, particularly with audio input. We are only at 30%. And then they've also evaluated on function calling. Obviously, the model needs to call the right tool at the right time to be useful in production. For this, they've evaluated on, once again, complex funk bench audio and the performance seems to be that of 66.5% compared to the predecessor, which was around 50%. But to get started, we need to visit platform.openai.com. And under that, we need to be logged in because this feature is a paid feature. And so we need some credits in order to work with it. And if we go to the dashboard, on the top right, we can see that there's audio here. If I click on audio and we can see real time right there. And under real time, if we click on create, then we are all set to play around with the latest real time model. In order to talk, of course, we need to enable microphone access. So I'm going to enable the access, allow this time. And on the right, we can see that there are quite a few choices for the voice. I'm just going to leave it at Martin and I'm just going to start the conversation now. I'm going to click on start session. Hey there, how are you doing? So if you're using the real-time API, they've given examples of how they support MCP server. For example, the code snippet looks like this. Like I mentioned before, they support image inputs as well. So if you want to pass image inputs, then you have to pass the image URL and the code snippet looks somewhat, somewhat like this. And they've also said that there are additional capabilities. For example, you can do a session in initiation protocol where you connect your app to say a public phone or a system or a desk phone and they have mentioned it in the docs for example this is a docs where they have mentioned how you can use real-time api with sip and they've just mentioned some safety and privacy related stuff so pricing wise for 1 million audio tokens the model for the gpt real time the input is 32 dollars and the output is 64 dollars so that's pretty much what i wanted to quickly talk about today and i hope to see you in my next video until then take care